This section is for applying for arable reversion for biodiversity. Now, this is like our arable reversion for low or no nitrogen input, um, but has additional benefits for biodiversity and therefore will pay more than what we're paying for uh, the low nitrogen arable reversion. Uh, so we'll ask you here to select the field you'd like to put forward into the scheme. And you can either select the field from this drop down list here and you can enter in uh, multiple um, uh, fields at once, or you can draw an outline using this tool here if you're only putting in half of your field like this. And if you make any mistakes, you can either undo the last thing that you did or you can clear all like this. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and uh, place my um, application for this, this field. We ask you for the number of hectares that you'd like to put forward. Um, and then we ask you uh, particular information about the, the, the type of measure. So uh, either reversion to wildflowers or biodiversity grassland. Um, uh, then some various measures about what, what it is you're doing. Now, this, this question is very important in terms of the connectivity. So we're, we're, we're particularly interested in funding um, fields that can increase uh, biodiversity connectivity. So you can see the uh, the fields that are already in um, uh, uh, biodiversity action action plan areas. Now, if you are able to, um, to 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 match up these these fields within 250 um, 250 meters, then uh, we will we, we'll apply an extra payment um, onto that. And so you can see here the, the, the benefits that are being brought about by uh, the information that I've just entered in here. And this, this, will, uh, this will vary on the basis of uh, the location of your field and also uh, the information that's entered in here. So if I change anything on here, then it will change, for example, the, the amount of nitrogen that's being saved. So once you're, you, you've entered in your details here and you're happy with it, then you can come down to here. Um, you can upload a, a, a photograph of your site if you have one, but it's not uh, required. And down here, you can see the maximum price that we are paying for this particular kind of arable reversion. Um, and then we ask you for your minimum price that you'd be happy to accept uh, to take part in the auction. Now, it's important to note that um, to, you will always be paid more than your minimum price. So if the auction ended now, then you would be paid at this price per hectare, but you will, you, you will still um, be offered a place in the auction uh, as long as that price stays above £600. If the price moves down below £600, uh, then uh, you will be unsuccessful in the auction. Um, this here gives uh, the, your, your total minimum price for uh, this particular field. So uh, because I'm putting in for uh, 600 pounds per hectare and two and a half hectares then uh, this is the total price that I'd be paid um, at the end of the auction if it ended now and this is the minimum price I could possibly be paid. Once you're done you can either click next to go on to the next measure and submit details there or you can click submit um, and if you click submit here then you'll be asked to um, either add another bid uh, for another field or to proceed to the summary page here. And then when you click submit, then that enters your uh, bid into the, 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 the scheme and, um, and you, you are done. 